In this illustration, we'll analyze the case of a rod hitting a block in circular track. Here we are given that the figure shows a rod of length L and mass M hinged at point O. And it is released from horizontal position and it hits the lowest point a block of mass M inelastically. That means right up to this point the separation velocity of M and M becomes zero. However, inelastically doesn't mean that they'll stick. So rod will move further in rotational motion and the small m will continue its translational motion. We are required to find the ratio of a small m by capital M for which a small m completes the circular path. Here in solution we can write by angular momentum conservation. About point O, we use when the rod strikes the bottommost point with M, say it hits it at an angular speed omega, then we can write ML square by 3 multiplied by omega should be equals to the final moment of inertia if the two moves together. Can be written as capital ML square by 3 plus small ML square multiplied by omega final. And in the situation of value of omega, we can write by work energy theorem here, we can write by work energy theorem or rods motion. Here we can write initial kinetic energy of rod was 0 plus. The work done by gravity on the rod we can write as mg L by 2 must be equals to the final kinetic energy of rod that is half ml square by 3 multiplied by omega square. Now in this situation here if we simplify the value of omega we will be getting is root of 3g by L. We can substitute the value of omega over here, and on simplifying, this gives us the value of omega final, which is m by m plus 3m multiplied by omega, which is root of 3g by L. So, if this is omega final, we can write the final velocity of a block. After collision is this we can write as L omega final. So this giving us M multiplied by root 3 GL divided by M plus thrice of a small m. And to complete the circle. This velocity should be equals to root of 5 g r. So if we equate the two, then we can see this should be m root of 3 g l divided by m plus thrice of a small m. If we simplify this relation, this gives us 1 plus 3 m by capital M is equals to this root of 3L by 5R. And on further simplifying this giving us M by capital M is equals to 1 by 3 of root of 3L by 5R minus 1 that is the result of this problem.